Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys how to get the latest uh, rooted DODX update on your Droid X. Uh, this is version 4.5.605. Uh, that's gingerbread, and a lot of you guys uh, have been uh, telling me that you're having issues receiving the over-the-air update coming from 4.5.602. Uh, so I'm just going to give you guys the rundown on how to get there. Um, the first way that you can get there, there's several ways. You can just go to settings, obviously, about phone, and system updates. It'll check for your updates and tell you that there's one available. Um, and you would select download and then it would install. Uh, so that's the first way. The second way to get there is to SPF your phone. Uh, back to 4.5.602 and uh, before you root it or do anything else go into settings about phone system updates and update to over the air uh, whatever that is 4.5.605 and then uh, root using the Pete's one click root method I've got a video on how to do that I also have a video on how to SBF your phone uh, for those who are not familiar with setting your phone back to stock settings um, but for those of you that would rather not SBF your phone, you'd rather just install it from Clockwork Recovery, I have that file for you there in the description. Download that file. That would be uh, 4.5.602 stock rooted. And it's also DODEXed and it was packaged by uh, the developer Mobile Sensei. So once you have that downloaded to your phone, uh, make sure that you're on version 4.5.602. That's any version 4.5.602 ROM, that could be a stock ROM, uh, that could be stock rooted DODEX, that could be uh, the Vortex ROM, you could be coming from Sensei Mod or Shuji ROM, uh, just make sure you're not coming from a second init ROM, that's not going to work properly, even if it is the Gingerbread kernel, you have to be on that 4.5.602 uh, version of Gingerbread. Uh, the way you can check that is going to settings and about phone and check your system version. It should say 4.5.602. Uh, if it says that, you're good to go. So what we want to do here is we got to make sure that we're rooted and that we have Droid 2 Bootstrap. Uh, some of you were asking, will Droid X Bootstrap work? Yes, it will, but you have to make sure to disable USB bugging, debugging. So go into uh, Settings, Applications, Development, and uncheck the uh, USB debugging box if you're using Droid X Bootstrapper, but it's easier for me just to use Droid 2 Bootstrapper, so you'll open that, click Bootstrap Recovery, and OK on Success, and then click Reboot Recovery. If you've ever installed a ROM, then this is going to be really easy for you. Uh, there's really nothing to review here. I'm just going to show you guys how to install it. Uh, it is just regular stock. Uh, 605. The only main changes in this version are the keyboard. They updated the keyboard. Uh, it was having glitches. So that's been updated. Uh, I'm sure there are other bug fixes there that make it a little snappier and quicker. And you probably will want to be on that 605 version because we got a ton of ROMs that are coming out. Mobile Sensei is working on a ROM. Uh, Vortex is being updated. And also I saw that Framework 43, the developer of my UI for the Droid X, He's also working on something as well, so I'm imagining it to be on this uh, 605 version, so you want to get there. First thing you want to do is wipe data factory reset. We're getting through the menu up and down volume, and camera button to select, and back to go back. So you're going to select wipe data factory reset, go down to yes, and select that. And once that's complete, you'll go to Wipe Cache Partition and select that. And then go to Yes, Wipe Cache. Get it a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Once that's complete, you'll go to Advanced, select that, and then you go to Wipe Dalvik Cache. Select that and then go to Yes, Wipe Dalvik Cache. And once that's completed, you will go back and go to install zip from SD card select that choose zip from SD card then you'll go to your download folder if you downloaded that file directly to your phone it would be under SD card download always just download my ROMs directly to the phone 
So you'll select download and then you will find Where are we at here? Deodex 605-rom.zip. That's what you're looking for. Select that and then go down to Yes, Install. Now this is going to take several minutes, so I'm going to pause here and we'll pick back up as soon as it finishes. Alright guys, that didn't take as long as I thought it would take. Uh, in fact, it only took about three minutes. And when it finishes, you'll see that it says um, Install from SD Card Complete. Once you see that, you just go back and reboot system. And Mobile Sensei said that it uh, may take a while to boot up on first boot. And that normally happens with any ROM because it all has to settle in. Uh, so give it up to 10 or 15 minutes to reboot. For some reason, it boot loops. All you got to do is pull the battery and press and hold the home key and the power button to bring up the stock menu and then you will press and hold the volume buttons both of them together to bring up the stock recovery menu and then you'll go to wipe data factory reset and that will solve any boot loops that you encounter but you should not encounter any as long as you wiped your data wiped cache wiped Dalvik you shouldn't have any issues uh, when you install this ROM and this will get you to stock 4.5.605, you will be rooted and deodexed. And Mobile Sensei has already developed a theme for the 605. And like I said, uh, Dev Vortex is coming out with Vortex 2.3 that will be updated to 4.5.605. You'll have to already be on the 605 ROM uh, in order to install that. Also, Mobile Sensei is working on a new 605 ROM. And uh, several other great things are coming to the Droid X, so there's still lots to be excited about. Um, and I thought I might show you guys how long it takes, but it'll probably take longer than I really want to spend here. Uh, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching. You can go to droidmoderx.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Droid X phone. We also cover the Droid Bionic at droidmoderx.com slash bionic. Uh, also, follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. That's with an E, not a 3, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Intoxicated world